Let's take a walk through the code in this LabVIEW project. Begin by reviewing the overall structure of the two VIs in this project. I have RT main and FPGA main. FPGA main front panel has one control and the control manipulates a pair of FPGA IO nodes. It has one indicator which is wired to the onboard button and the loop itself runs indefinitely. On the RT side, we'll begin by opening a reference to the VI that runs on the FPGA. We'll read and write the front panel controls and indicators and then close the reference to the VI. More specifically, taking a look at the configuration here, you find a place where you can select the particular VI that you want to use on the FPGA. And then with this option, the VI will, will be started up as a result of establishing that reference. The read-write control node accesses the control and indicator on FPGA main's front panel. So the value that you have on the RT main control is communicated directly down to, to manipulate the control on FPGA main, and then the value on button zero indicator is read back to RT, RT main. The loop runs at 10 hertz and either an air condition or the stop button bails you out of the loop and closes the reference to the VI. Let's locate the palettes for the pertinent functions here, FPGA interface. And we find open FPGA VI reference, read write control node, and close FPGA VI reference.